doing a DNS spoof, spoofing attack. And to carry out this attack, I'm going to be using the Kali Linux virtual machine and uh, as my attacking machine and the Windows virtual machine as my victim machine. So what I'm going to do is first of all, get in the middle of the connection, the man in the middle of the connection um, by using app spoofing, um, app poisoning, sorry. And I'm going to now just check that I have internet connection on the on the victim machine, and uh, also the website I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the Concordia University website. So now I go on to Concordia University on the victim machine, and you can see I have access to I can I'm able to reach the Concordia University website. So I'm just going to type um, type in app a to see that um, the the address of the of the router is different from the address of my attacking ad computer which is the 10.2.0.5 also i i can see the ip address of my victim which is 10.2.0.2.15 10 that's the ip address of the victim so now I pull up my attacking um, machine to start the um, ARP poisoning attack. I pull up um, the terminal. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the Apache web server on the attacking machine. And this is going to be useful for my DNS spoofing attack because I need it to redirect the victim to a, a page. Uh, so I'm going to direct the victim to a page hosted on this by this Apache 2 web server on this attacking machine, attack machine. So now I confirm that the Apache 2 web server is actually running, it has the IP address 10.0.2.5. And I start the Apache 2 web server that I've downloaded. And also, also just confirm that it is running. So now you can see that the Apache 2 web server active and running. I'm going to um, pull up a browser now and view and view that it um, also confirm that it is it is running. See the what it what the page looks like the home page of the Apache Two web server. So I go to the ten dot zero dot two dot five, and you can see welcome to Apache. So what I'm going to do is edit this home page to make it more realistic or because what I'm, I'm trying to do is is make it look like a denial service attack yeah when someone when this um the victim goes to this goes to the concordia investor website it's going to be redirected to a page that looks like the page the website is is out is out of reach or out of service and it can this this will cause a denial of service to the victim so I did this page to say Concordia Concordia.ca is unavailable. Um, please try again later. So basically, when the when the victim tries to go to the Concordia University website, he sees this page and he thinks that the website is down and causes a denial of service attack. So basically, combining a D DNS spoofing attack or using a DNS spoofing attack to cause a denial of service. So. Yeah, so I just changed the, the title of the website to Concordia University to make it more realistic. So now I'm, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is what the um, the victim will see when the victim tries to go to the Concordia University website. And the victim will think the website is down. So now I can start my attack, the app poisoning attack. I use the better cap, specify the interface at interface. ETH0. So now I see that none of the modules are running. So I start turning on different modules. I first of all turn on the net.probe module to discover clients on, on the network. And you can see it has discovered um, two clients. And it also turned on the net.recon module automatically, which helps to detect responses and add IPs to lists. So now if I click Type in net.show, you can see the um, list of, of 
clients that have been found on the network. And you can see the 10.0.2.15, which is going to be our victim for this uh, attack. So to use the app module, I, turn, I put on um, help. Um, and you can see what I need to specify is the targets and also um, if I want to set full duplex to true or not. Full duplex basically uh, will create a complete man in the middle attack. But it's, it's not going to be successful if the if the router has apps, ARP spoofing protections. But I'm just still going to try um, try try and uh, cause it, the attack works best when full duplex is on. So also I set the targets as the victim IP address. And um, with that, I'm ready to turn on the ARP scoping. I use the command ARP spoof, ARP spoof on. So now I can go confirm on the victim's machine that the attack is working properly. So what ARP spoofing is going to do is it's going to change the cache, the router's cache and the and the victim's cache to include my MAC, the MAC address of my attacking machine so that when the router wants to talk to the um when it wants when the router wants to talk to the victim it sends it through my system and when, when through the the attacking system and when the victim wants to talk to the router it's also sent it through the attacking system and um the, the victim the attacking system basically sends out arp responses to poison the catch of both the victim and the router to be able to succeed in getting this man in the middle connection so now we can pull up the we can pull up the victim system to confirm to confirm that the attack is working successfully so now we've pulled up the pulled up the victim system we can look at you can see the app catch has been poisoned you can see that the route now the router and the and the attacking machine have the same mac address that is so it's it is sending cash cash um, it's sending packets that that are just that's supposed to be destined for the router is going to send them to this the same the the same interface as the attacking machine so now when we turn on net we can turn on the net sniff sniff module on the uh, module on the on the attack of attacking machine and this will help make us to be able to sniff um packets that the that the victim's machine is sending so now if we go to a browse a browser on, on the victim machine and um just go to a website try to visit any website concordia.ca we can see that the attacking machine is picking up the, this the packet now that we have a man in the middle connection we are able to carry out the dns spoofing attack so for that we're going to use this dns or spoof module and we're going to set first of all the address which is the in, set defaults to the interface um, address of the attacking machine so we don't really need to set that we set dns or spoof all to true to set to allow or uh, so so the module will reply to every dns request then we also set the we set it to true then finally we set the domains that we want the um, dns request to to be responded um, responded to and for that we have we we'll use the concordia.ca domain and also uh, use the wildcard to specify that every subdomain also to Concordia should be responded, um, should be responded to DNS requests for every sub, for every every request to Concordia to see and all the subdomains. So now we turn on the DNS spoof module, and we can go to the we can go to the victim um, machine to confirm that it is working. So we pull up the victim machine. And go open up a browser, and uh, just to be sh sure that 
it doesn't have the 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 web page already um, saved in the in the cache and so that it, it actually does a it actually does a, a request basically a, a dns request when we try to visit visit the page we are going to clear the cache and clear the data of the of the browser so it doesn't save the web page from the cache so we just do that and um, now we can try to go to the concordia.ca website and we get this page saying concordia.ca is unavailable please try again later and this is the web page being served up on a on a attacking machine so the this way the victim thinks that the website is down and he cannot go to he is unable to visit the website um it tries again later and it keeps on saying the same thing as long as we keep on the as long as the attack is on even when you try with another browser yeah which pull up um, microsoft um, edge and we try to still go to the compiler to see a website and it's still with the same still with the same thing compiler to see is unavailable please try again later so we have success, success, successfully done a dns spoofing attack and basically the way this attack works is when the victim wants to reach the concurrent.ca website sends out a dns request saying i need the ip address for this website and the attacking machine picks up that request and responds to it with its own ip address um, so the victim thinks that that ip address is the ip address of dot com of concordia.ca and it goes to that address and it's and that address is actually the um, address of the web server being served being hosted on the on the victim so you can use this attack for different things like redirecting to malware and all but i just use it for uh, denial of service in this case thanks for watching